We are now going to talk about the first um, class project. So we will uh, see the overview of uh, the system. This is um, a familiar application. So it should be fairly easy for you to understand the requirements. We are talking about a library. And uh, we are going to uh, have uh, a library system that is probably of a Victorian age library. That is, uh, it's pretty um, uh, elementary in its um, uh, scope. Uh, it is going to just have books, at least at this point in time, at least in this first version. And um, there will be uh, like any library members or users who want to check out books. So we want to, that is the primary function of this library. You have books and you have members and members want to check out books. So you, you should be able to add books to the collection. You should be able to add members to the list of members that we are maintaining. And we should be, or we should be adding members to the library i should be saying that not to a list that is the wrong word to use at the analysis time we need to check out uh, books for the members or the users and uh, we are not envisaging a very sophisticated library here but uh, then uh, we are um, also required to record the return of a book. The users will eventually return the books. You should be able to remove books that are, um, that the library for some reason or the other decides should not be in the collection anymore. So removing the books, printing out a user user's transactions for, for a specific user for a specific date. What books did the user check out? What books did the user return, et cetera. Then um, users can put what are called holds, that is basically re make reservations for books that are already checked out and they want to get a hold of that book. They would like to be, to be issued that book at some point in time. So maybe multiple uh, members would place holes on the same book and a person can um, place holes on multiple books. It should be possible to renew books to a member. Then um, when a book that the member has uh, put a hold on is returned. The library should notify the member. It should be possible to save the data to disk, load the data from disk, and of course, I quit the application when it is time to shut down the library for the day. So you can see that this is a very elementary library system, but it doesn't really detract from the design issues. So you shouldn't be too worried whether we'll be seeing interesting design situations and so on. I think this is a very uh, interesting application, especially for people who are just getting into the construction of object-oriented systems. Now that uh, we talked about what the library does, let's talk about what the user community is interested in creating. They need to create, we need to create for them an interface, a library system that would be used by the library staff. I think I mentioned this several times that this is a very elementary library system. It is also not a very current in the technical sense. 
the members of the library don't use the software system to check out books or return books. Everything is done by the library staff. And the commands would pretty much reflect all the business processes that we have in the previous slide. So we had a number of business processes here, like registering new members, adding books, issuing books, recording the return of a book and so on. So we need some way of invoking those functionalities. We are not saying here exactly how those things would be invoked, but here we are saying there should be some way of issuing those commands. So you can see basically a correspondence between the business processes and the commands in this slide. <laughs> 